Good evening, First Alert Meteorologist CJ Cartledge here, and we had a pretty hot day today as we reached a high of 91 degrees here in Shreveport, but we can expect those 90 degree temperatures to be almost out of the way of the area as this cold front begins to move through the region tomorrow. But highs for tomorrow, as you can see, looks to make an early start for the northern portions of the region as it will enter from the northwest. 82 is expected for Broken Bow and DeQueen, 84 for Foreman, 82 in Nashville, 83 and Hope, 84 in Stamps, 87 in Spring Hill. And talking about East Texas, we look to see more 90s here, 87 in Gilmer, 88 in Longview, 95 all the way down in Hemp Hill, 88 is expected for Shreveport, 90 in Minden, 91 in Ringgold, and 90 in Bienville. Natchitoches also at 95 tomorrow. Our temperature trend looks to be continuing in the 80s throughout the next seven days here, possibly uh, most likely being under the average for this time of year. I think I believe the average is 90 degrees for this time of year in September 11th. But um, take a look at tomorrow. The cold front begins to move through the air region from the northwest, as said before, bringing some scattered showers and storm likely that will last a couple of days, possibly until the end of this week here, the end of this work week here, and a few of them could possibly turn severe here. But talking about our future track, we look to be uh, see this cold front slowly move through the region by the time we hit the 6:30 hour, which is why our uh, our highs in the northern portions of the region may be a little bit suppressed here into the lower 80s. And some of us in the southern portions of the region may not receive the effects until later on in the day here. As you can see, bring about some instability in the afternoon hours, possibly some showers and storms across the I-20 corridor, maybe just uh, north or south of it. And we continue to be uh, receive this instability from this cold front moving through the region as we look through the overnight hours into Wednesday, possibly receiving some more scattered showers and thunderstorms associated with this cold front. But this looks to be the story throughout the rest of our Wednesday as well as the rest of our Thursday as well. Possibly some more uh, showers associated with this cold front right coming from right behind it. But the expected rain for the next five days, some of us not even receive, may not receive some rain at all. As you can see, just north of Shreveport, maybe not even an inch of rain. But we, as I know you guys would like that, uh, we would get possibly the three to five inch rain just to the west of us, just south and west of Dallas. That's what we actually need here in the Arctic region. But they are also experiencing severe drought conditions as well. But taking a look at our when this rain will happen, some scattered showers are possible for Tuesday, uh, some isolated showers actually, and some more scattered showers are expected for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday as well. But taking a look at our tropics, Hurricane Lee is currently now a Category 3 hurricane, which has been dissipating very, very slowly throughout the day today. It looks to possibly increase back up to 120 miles per hour before it officially dissipates as it continues to move northward. Actually, there are some islands in the United States territory, some some islands in Maine and, and New England islands are in the cone of uncertainty of this storm as it looks to move throughout the area by Friday. Hurricane Margo is our tropical storm. Margo has now turned into a hurricane earlier today with winds up to 75 miles per hour sustained and pressure. The pressure is currently sitting at 988, which is a pretty big storm right now. It's category one hurricane right now. It looks to increase to possibly a category two before it officially dissipates. Here are tropical development chances. We have two tropical disturbances out there in the tropics right now, just off the coast of Africa. And one of them, which, is, which has the red X, has a 70% chance of forming into a tropical storm within the next few days. So next week here, and the yellow X is a 10% chance of forming within the next few days. But if either one of these storms develop into a tropical storm, the next couple of names on the list will be Nigel and Ophelia. Take a look at your first little seven day forecast. We're expecting more rain showers possible here for Tuesday through Friday as our low as our highs remain in the 80s, possibly into the 70s by the time we hit Wednesday, which is our greatest chance for rain here. These uh, rain chances persist all the way into the weekend as we may see some more drier conditions and temperatures ramp back up into the 90 degree mark and higher. So please enjoy the rest of today and the rest of tomorrow because rain is on the way, folks. Make sure to bring your umbrellas as well. Have a good one.